In the last episode, we started going through the industrial age and we got ourselves into pneumatic craft and we got ourselves the basic pressure chamber and the refinery. And in today's episode, we're going to continue going through the industrial age. Now, I was looking through the quest and because we need heat for the refinery here, I was thinking, what can we use for heat blocks? Well, everything in this seems to have a good heat value, but I'm not sure if it turns into anything and how it works. It looks like it's going down interestingly enough even though the heat property of it says oh heat capacity the other way it's wait no it's not going the way hold on a second heat capacity yeah it's going this way but it's not cooling it down for some reason it's cooling it down and instead of heating it up that's interesting but if we want heat we can go ahead and use lava for our basic of heat now you might be wondering how can we get lava besides obviously going over to our lava pool over here and yoinking some lava you remember the technique that i used two episodes ago using the philosopher's stone if we grab ourselves some obsidian really quickly and our philosopher's stone let's go ahead and make sure that we decharge our philosopher's stone i think it's shift b to go ahead and do that we can go ahead and put our obsidian down below and then convert our obsidian into lava indefinitely which is going to allow us to heat up our refinery to go ahead and fill it with heat right and we can also i believe shift click to go ahead and turn it back into obsidian if you would like go ahead and let our refinery cool down i want to try something as well and i want to make this thing called a liquid hopper because liquid hoppers would be really useful for us right now and we need to go ahead and get that going also i should really think about getting those hopper bonsai pot thingies because yeah we're using up a lot of wood and we're not really producing any wood right now which is not great and i don't know if i have everything that i need to make that i don't but i can make some more iron bars very simply by doing that and wait what the heck okay now we got plenty enough of that go ahead and turn that into a liquid hopper and i should be able to go ahead and put this here oh is that gonna still work if i do this are you gonna pull out of there you aren't gonna pull out of there okay so if i did something like that will you then work no how am i gonna get this to place in the right direction so if i did that nope that's not how that how am i gonna get this to work the right way obviously i can't be standing here if i did that no it's not how that works i think it has to be facing upwards for sure right something like that should be good that's not what i wanted can you not do that that'd be great use the laws of gravity to do that that should now be dumping into there beautiful then all i have to do now is go ahead and take this and convert that directly into lava again let that heat up and that should start to produce the things that we need yes perfect kerosene gasoline and lpg also while i'm here let me quickly get a bucket of oil to go ahead and get that quest completed good now what does it want us to do it wants us to liquefied petroleum it wants us to get a bucket of lpg that's a long name thermal pneumonic processing plant right the thing that makes plastic that is the thing that makes plastic and oh god that's gonna take a while to make a bucket but that's fine let's go ahead and look at the thermo processing plant this guy thermo pneumatic processing plant which we can go ahead and make that's actually fairly easy to make we just need two more of these and that is easy peasy what are we missing we're missing three reinforced slabs shouldn't be a problem and bam now i think this does indeed need the which i'm gonna call it i keep doing hey oh you're full i think you do need the okay you're good to go and you should be you also need heat as well okay good 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 that's fine and then that's gonna want me to make lpg which we're on the way of making artificial sun rays the uv light box and that's gonna want us to do all the things right this is actually a really cool mod pack i'm not gonna lie this is a really fun mod pack i am a bit worried that this is gonna turn back on me again and there isn't really an indication of when it's gonna go ahead and turn back unfortunately but it's fine also if you want to insulate your thing you can do that with any sort of block but ideally an insulator i think there's an insulator like heat pad or something heat 
frame no that's not what i'm looking for heat pipe no there's some sort of like padding i'm pretty sure from new metacraft that allows you to like put it on these blocks go ahead and trap the heat which is fine there's got to be a better heat source right other than lava essentially i don't really know you know what i have a better thing to make let's make the vortex tube because we can totally do that right because the fact that we found aluminum ingots in purgatory i'm pretty sure we're allowed to craft this vertex tube and also we're gonna need a heat sink for that so that should be easy enough once we get a single piece of gold it is pretty expensive but this is going to be well worth it in the long run so let's go ahead and get this so that way we're not constantly sitting there watching if that is going to go ahead and turn over or not i don't know i know i said i wasn't going to need pressure but i i just can't be sitting here all day waiting for this to turn over so you know what i'm going to do um this is going to be not smart but i'm going to turn that into lava and then do that that's probably the easiest way to do this and and make sure that this turns into what we want so uh that's the cold side i don't want the cold side i want the hot side on that side if i did that that's perfect now i gotta somehow get the pressure tube to behave the heat sink goes there and then i need to move the pressure all, all the way under here and over here this is gonna be fun go ahead and cover that up that's fine and then do something like this now here's a pro tip as well and when you're doing pneumaticraft always run the pipe first always run your tubing first right so do something like this and connect it and then connect it to your air compressors back home it's so much smarter so that way there's no gap now now we can just say hey cover all this up this won't be out be covered but that's fine now that's gonna heat up nicely look at that look at it go these actually don't need the uh security upgrades thankfully but now it should be processing all that lpg without us having to be standing there watching it and constantly converting the obsidian back to lava and you know whatever we don't want to be sitting there so that is good to go go ahead and get the, rid of these vortex tubes and whatnot let's get a clean slate on our jei i still haven't gotten copper i don't know why uh it wants copper dust which is done and then now it wants us moving items perfect that's gonna be your like which i'm gonna call is it pretty pipes esque item let's continue going down this road we are waiting for a bucket of lpg that should be easy enough though once that that's done doing its thing so are you done oh the lpg is up in the roof isn't it yeah it's not quite done yet but it's fine also does pretty pipes have fluid moving i wonder if that's the case does pretty pipes have fluid handling i don't think so it doesn't look like pretty pipes has any sort of way to you know move fluids around which is kind of sad but it's fine in the meantime let's go ahead and look at the hopper botany pots now the only thing that i need to go ahead and do is make wait i can make them wait a second okay that's a brick hopper i could have made this the entire time so we need hold on we need the wooden hopper which needs hold on go back to that so this needs a brick hopper which needs a wooden hopper which needs a chest and some wood i could have made this this entire time and wow i guess that's how little i pay attention i guess i've got a b brain i guess there it is go ahead and make two of those and then two of these and then upgrade them with bricks now can i just cook up the bricks that i need uh give me 16 give me 16 and then divide them both like this okay so here is the moment of truth let's go ahead and grab ourselves that and make the two brick hoppers like so and then i think i'm not sure let's go back to the primitive age quest now it wants us to make the hopper botany pot okay the hopper botany pot should be easy enough once we look at this it's gonna need more of the clay plots which is easy enough and then we're also gonna need the which i'm gonna call is it these guys so let's go ahead and get 16 of these and then get those cooked up and let's go check up on our refinery it should be done by now let's see yeah one bucket of lpg beautiful if i had a guess it's gonna have me turn that into plastic if i had a guess if we come over here yeah it wants us to make one bucket of molten plastic Ooh, you know what i kind of want to use another vertex tube here 
here because that way we don't have to do the same thing because i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to heat up this block as well so let's get another vortex tube and another one of those oh yeah we're gonna need a few more aluminum and a few more aluminum and some more compressed iron and that should be vortex tube done we are gonna need a heat sink as well keep it chilly we don't want it to get overheated or anything let's see iron we have on us good turn that into that make the heat sink that we need easy and then we want to process this so if i do that and we put this no ow, that's not what i wanted to do god damn it i'm wasting pressure at this point there we go that should be good let me just double make sure mm -hmm. you should be good to go so do that cover that give me some tubing plug that in how much of this pressure did i waste oh you are empty that might do it a little bit mm -hmm. i'm gonna go ahead and put this on the wall charcoal 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 get this build back up get this creating pressure again for the system and we can also speed up that process by taking a nap i guess and just before i forget I did make an extra security upgrade. This guy is going to need a security upgrade. This guy doesn't need one, but this guy does. So luckily I double checked that before tick accelerating too much because we would have definitely lost that machine if it exploded. Okay, we need to make plastic. Plastic needs, I believe, coal. Let me see. In world chill, molten plastic needs coal. And to make coal, we need to go ahead and either, yes, we need to pressure chamber the charcoal also does coal have emc that is a good question coal doesn't have emc but that's fine it is one charcoal to one coal i don't know how much pressure it needs but it does need probably quite a bit if i had to guess to make coal it doesn't it needs only 1.5 bars which is good take that put that in there go ahead and process the bucket oh it does 100 at a time cool do this perfect now it says here in the quest book careful when placing molten plastic in world it crashed your game mod bug instead use a heat frame on a chest okay so let's try the heat frame on a chest so heat frames are easy enough to make heat frame just require a furnace which needs compressed stone so furnace with some compressed iron should give us the heat frame and then that needs a chest as well easy enough put this down i might need to make another vertex tube for this which that's not where that goes that goes on there which that's getting heated up by that which is not ideal so put this here with this here i wonder if i can use everything block to cool down the chest i don't know if that's how this works but i'm gonna try it okay temperature is being pulled out of it which is nice so if i go ahead and put this in here does that mean it's cooling it down maybe for the uh using a heat frame might get you better results it is cold but is it cold enough doesn't look like it's cold enough so if i grab another vortex tube which i don't even know if i can make another one of these it looks like i can let me make another vortex tube and heat sink and we'll be right back okay so we should be able to get ourselves some pressure tubes like so and run them across here like that and now that should hopefully be super chilling that frame now that it's super chilled, we should be able to make a ton of plastic. Okay, we need way more charcoal or way more coal than that. Let's go ahead and get a stack of that bad boy. Plop it in there and take accelerate. And now we can make a ton of plastic by throwing all that coal inside of there and making about a bucket a tick, which is super nice. Oh, look at that. I wonder something actually. Hold on a second. And we super chill using the tanks from pneumaticraft i don't know if that's possible but we're about to find out if we can or not because if we can that would be amazing if i do this this should give me a few buckets worth so nine buckets worth drop that in there oh my god look at that oh my god it's so fast it was so fast there we go plastic has been made awesome and funny enough how it's now telling me to get the transmutation table um buddy i've had that for a while now <laughs> i don't know but um 
Yeah, sorry about that, mate, but um, didn't mean to cheese you like that. Okay, so magical hazardous fluids, engraving circuits. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna start needing to do these things. So artificial sun, which is going to be the UV UV light box, which should be easy enough. PCB printed circuit board thing, PCB blueprint, I think. I think we need to get that from Amadron. Amadron tablet. The Amadron tablet is gonna need plastic sheets, GPS tool, and an air canister. Air canisters are relatively cheap to make. I just need the cosmic dust, which means I need to remove this bad boy. Mm -hmm. and replace it with the red concrete powder and a few cosmic dust and then that should be good also why is my game super quiet oh uh, where is it i was wondering why my game was super quiet the sound was set to four there it is go ahead and grab this air canister easy enough gps tool which is gonna need a cosmic ingot some glass panes of some kind and then it looks like one of those ingots can i smelt up some ingots using this method or no you know what it's not looking like i'm able to put these in here okay so we can't make cosmic ingots that way that's interesting we can go ahead and say hey let's upgrade our botany pots finally one two i didn't even need to make the terracotta there it is didn't even need to do that feels freaking bad man feels freaking bad go ahead and put your one of those in there with your sapling and your sapling good enough what else are we going to need here cosmic ingots so that means we need to relight our damn fire and cook up the cosmic ingots that we need so give me those back cosmic dust one two three four that's gonna make our cosmic ingots and then that is basically everything that we need for the amadron tablet sort of i think let's find out there we go cosmic ingots and the gps tool did we make our thing we didn't make our glass yet there we go make some more sticks and then stick plus redstone will give us a redstone torch and that should give us our gps tool except it won't give it to us because it's being a dingus and where's the cosmic ingots didn't i not just pick them up there they are i was like where did they go and then that plus your thing will give us that so there's your gps tool and bam bam boom there's your amadron tablet we're gonna need the charging station because that is how you charge this thing and luckily we should have everything that we need minus the three bricks which can i cook this on the campfire i don't even know if i can it looks like i can cook this on the campfire hopefully it takes more than that oh just enough time as well gotta love it the charging station which i believe also needs a security upgrade but i don't think we're gonna need to install it because it can go all the way up to 25 bar before it explodes so it should be fine before we take accelerate sleep let's go ahead and put the amadron tablet in there and let that charge up while we take accelerate sleep with our amadron tablet nice and full what we should be able to do is <clears throat> not do that grab some of our wood that we've had craft going and make another chest like so and have this chest be the pickup and drop off for the amadron so shift right click and that should link the chest to the Amadron tablet, which is good. Now we're gonna need to go ahead and buy what it looks like to be our PCB blueprints, which means we need 14 silver coins. Luckily, we've been saving up. Go ahead and grab 14 silver coins, bam, bam, boom, and place them inside this chest and go ahead and place your order for your PCBs. Where did the PCBs go? Oh, there we go. One of those, place order, and that should allow it to be picked up. Oh, that was super fast, what the heck? Now, hopefully it will drop off our PCBs. There he is, good, 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 good. And bam, bam, boom, there is our PCB that we need to go ahead and make the UV light box once we get everything all sorted out. So UV light box, 
bam bam boom it's gonna need redstone lamps some more compressed iron which i think at this point i can go ahead and say hey make me some compressed iron right that's how this works right i think this is how this works i'm hoping that this is how this works because if not well that's not gonna be great i don't hear any popping going on which is not good usually you hear the uh, the little popping noise yeah um compressed iron i would have thought would be iron in the pressure chamber at two bars oh we don't have two bars yet that's why to make the glowstone that we need for the uv light box we're gonna have to go to the nether hopefully we can actually go to the nether now instead of having to worry about it so if i come over here out can i go to the nether now i can let's go so it was gated behind the basically the industrial age unlock so let's go ahead and do this go ahead and name this nether we are gonna want to run around and see if we can find some glowstone really quick or we can go just go ahead and make it if we just go ahead and grab some nether rack which shouldn't be hard as you can see we've already got some just like that easy peasy lemon squeezy you know what while we're here let me grab some nether quartz actually can i make nether quartz at home nether quartz nether quartz can be made using the nothing so we actually have to find it here in the nether okay that's fine but for now let's go ahead and temp pad home real quick so that way we can go ahead and make the glowstone that we need for the uv light box also fun little tactic you only need four right because we can go ahead and make a block and take the block and put it in your emc table like so and you should be able to downcraft it maybe not downcraft it but maybe go ahead and do something like this and then this and boom you have unlimited glowstone or free without having to do any work i got the hiccups for some reason i don't know why we needed glowstone but we needed glowstone oh right we need glowstone for the uv light box right and we still need redstone so let's go ahead and drop down this bad boy right here drop down this like so and also replace this so that way we can go back to making the thing we do actually need 12 redstone what the heck did i just do there we go perfect and we should be good to go now to make the three glowstone blocks that we need or redstone lamps we need one two three oops one two three three redstone lamps some compressed iron which i know we have where did all of our compressed iron go is it in this chest no maybe is it in this chest is it in here where did it go we had a ton of compressed iron made there it is beautiful go ahead and take this like this with the pcb blueprint and a pressure tube wherever that may be the pressure tubes i don't know where they are i thought we had some that was definitely a bug but sure go ahead and put this here with a tube and then that should be good to go to make your things your i believe your pcbs is what those make yes not really a circuit so an empty pcb i'm pretty sure that's what we need to make the thing with right so we need plastic gold nuggets and two redstone torches wait so one plastic three gold nuggets so we're gonna need a little bit more gold that's fine go ahead and get that cooked up i'm just gonna get a stack of it and then do something like this and then divide by two and then that should be easy enough put that away because we don't need it in the meantime i'm gonna make some more stuff okay so a little bit of gold nuggies and a plastic board with two redstone torches we're gonna need a little bit more redstone which means we're gonna need to grab more cosmic dust over here like so good 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 drop that over here in here and make two redstone torches and then that should be everything that we need to make pcbs so three of those one of those and two of those should make our very first empty pcb three of those two of those one of those good 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 and that should be super easy and simple just like that three empty pcbs go ahead and drop that inside of there oh god that is very bright take a nap inside of here wait a second does that need that might need this totally needs a security upgrades you know what i wouldn't mind making really quickly i wouldn't really mind making a quick pneumatic craft wrench if we can we just need a bit of orange dye which should be easy enough with the mystical orange petals where did those go there we go orange dye and a new gun there we go and we should 
should be able to charge that right over here inside of our little charging station and take a quick little nap to get that tick accelerated a little bit now i want to test something oh my god oh god why is that doing that why was that doing that there's a pipe below there so here's my plan then i made a few extra of those which am i calls it things these things air compressors i'm gonna put one here with a security upgrade and then i'm gonna break all these pipes down here i don't think it's really necessary to keep these honestly god damn it there we go perfect and then i can break this and this now they're on their own separate little lines which is not bad at all good now they're all separated and we don't have to worry about it now which is super good and then you just need a bit of charcoal like so and you're getting all your charcoal you should be warming up nicely because well now you don't got to worry about sharing right and it will be even quicker once we make sure that this has got it's security upgrades before I go and <clears throat> do any sort of tick accelerating and whatnot. All right, that's good. So now we're about to get our very first PCB, which means we need to make the etching tank, which I don't really know what that means because previously we would just put a bucket of etching acid in the world and drop the PCB in it. But I don't think that's how this works anymore. I think we actually need to physically feed some sort of etching tank now, which is easy enough reinforced brick walls okay so that's gonna be pretty pricey but it's nothing that we can't handle i don't think we're just gonna need another one of these tanks or whatever which is easy enough for us to make at this point we've made a bajillion of them by now so it's pretty easy we're gonna need way more reinforced force brick uh we're getting really low on the reinforced stuff i don't think i have any more of the things that we need yeah i don't have any more of the things that i need which is unfortunate this is all i have left for that that's fine because now we can make an etching tank which i'm gonna go ahead and put right here in front of the uv box thing yeah we gotta fill this with all oh, this needs temperature as well okay so it might be better to probably like put it like here or something we'll put the vortex tube there or something by the way quickest way to get the compressed iron is to go ahead and take some phosphorus and throw it into your reactive crucible like this let it get super red like that and then just drop a ton of iron in there right because that's how we do it originally and look at this look at, all, look at all that compressed iron i just made look at that super easy you don't have to wait for that slow thing super good go ahead and do that go ahead and make that make a vortex tube and it should be fine also by the way we have a wrench now so we can go ahead and rotate this however which way we want it we're probably gonna want to make a heat sink as well that way it kind of like stabilizes the temperature a little bit so it's not like so crazy hot that's not where the heat sink goes heat sink goes right on the back and it should cool down significantly yeah look at that we are losing a on a pressure though which is not ideal but that's fine we can probably make the advanced compressors now it requires blue tubing which requires the assembly machine which we're gonna be pretty close to getting so it's not the end of the world we're, we're pretty close to that as well which is nice all right how's this doing on temperature oh yeah 98 degrees you know what it would be hotter if we did the insulation i bet you is it some sort of like pad what is it called called that's what it's called it is called thermal lagging i think it's what it's called yeah thermal lagging looks like it's gonna be some sort of orange or wool type wool let's see do i have wool or okay so wait can wool be easily obtained in large quantities ring i can make it that way we can make it by creatine and triglyceride ring can be released with mana infused string green wool with the alchemy catalyst oh wait no that's not what we want i don't think there's an easy way of doing this other than maybe like going and like shearing sheeps that are out there is there an easy way to get sheeps to spawn not really do i have is it wheat i think it's wheat that i need to go ahead and drag them over here i saw a sheep over here i don't know if he's still over here or not yes he is come here you i would like to bring you inside my house where you'll forever live and get bread up to be used for wool and thankfully my floor inside my house is grass right we have successfully trapped a sheep in here would you look at that trying to go outside all right fair enough buddy if you want to go outside you can go outside 
There you go, bud. Have a great time. I would like to get more wool than that, though. Okay, so we should be able to make some thermal lagging once we get a little bit of glass. But I'm going to need to do a few things first. Go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. Sir, can you get out of my face? That'd be great. Goddamn sheep. We're going to need to go ahead and make a little pen for this guy. That way he's not constantly running around bugging us. But yeah, we'll probably do that in between episodes, right? Because I don't need to do it right this second. Unless if he's going to continue getting in my way. But I think I should be able to do something like this right like put this here and then that should in theory increase the temperature by a little bit i'm gonna need like a few more but you know what i could also cheap out a little bit on this i think i read somewhere that we can use trap doors or eat thingy my bobbers which is pretty good if that's the case right so if we want to we can go ahead and put trap doors on the side of our little machine here and that should in theory allow us to quickly which i'm gonna call it do the little eat Thing, the little heat mechanic so if i do something like that that should it's like really on the fence about it also let me quickly break my roof and let me go ahead and put a block up here okay no it's not liking the trap doors so if that's the case let me go ahead and put an actual set of blocks maybe you'll like that instead it's Still not liking that. We can probably get away with making a little bit more thermal lagging. Come here, buddy. All right, I need you to eat your grass one more time, please. And just like that, we should be able to make a little bit more thermal lagging. And hopefully this time be able to cover. I thought I had three blocks of this stuff. Where did my other wool go? Hello? Go ahead and cover the top of this block with thermal lagging and then cover the sides like so you should be can i kill lick the block through the thermal lagging i can okay so that's good we can click the block through the thermal lagging which is nice i might replace the front ones like these ones on the back of the block if that makes sense i'm not sure if these count they do if i come over here where the output tanks are and put the thermal lagging down like so and replace these blocks how are we doing on temperature it still doesn't like the fact that these are bare exposed so that means we're gonna need to do a little bit more of the thermal lagging stuff the whole thing is now thermal lagged nice and nice so now we should be able to get away with this oh my look at all that lpg we have look at that even more plastic can be made beautiful all right but unfortunately guys it is time to go ahead and wrap up today's episode of universe io with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash that like button smash that subscribe button ding down that notification bell become part of the hunt tribe as always guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time bye bye